Hey okay, girls, how you doing? Let's do another pick a card. And today is going to be what are they missing about you? Oh, so much, I know. But can we have some more details, right? <laughs> Two pounds, let's go. And let's not be triggered by this kind of subject. Uh, it's just tarot, as I like to say, as you know. So come on, let's go. Let's do it. One, two, one, two. Okay, so what do they miss about you? Uh, pound number one. The sun, the devil, four sword, holy mother of God. There's so much here. Oh my goodness. Well, the sun, you are, you know, the inner child connection. With you, they can be at home. They can be truly themselves. They don't need to be, you know, um, what they pretend to be out there. You know, wearing that mask. They can just truly be themselves. They can be goofy around you. They can just let go a little bit you know and um, just have fun have like two peas in a pod have that complicity um, that closeness and that doesn't require any explanation this is organic this is beautiful this is the best card of the old deck is that uh, love of life that funny side of life that joy that tranquility as well you know because you can be just at peace with yourself being yourself beautiful absolutely what they also miss about you is above a room a lot of chemistry here Ooh, sexual energy is powerful here they don't find that somewhere else they just there's something about you that just mm, you know you just you know you just know i don't need to go on and on <laughs> Like I said, we got the picture, I know. But also, uh, and that is quite interesting because there is a side of you they miss as well and that is more a calming um, side, which sounds very crazy between, you know, the, the joy and then the sexual energy. And then at the same time, you have that peace, that serenity, you calm them. You know, they feel, uh, because they feel so free to be themselves with you, they feel they can just rest. They can just, you know, um, rest their head on your shoulder and just, just have a moment of calm. And also, you seem to find the right words to heal them. There is a healing. Okay, maybe sexual healing. <laughs> Goofy hearing. He hearing? <laughs> Mom, mommy, yeah. healing, I meant. Um, but, you know, there is a healing somewhere. And with you... They might find answers to the question, the big question, you know, and also healing a part of themselves because maybe they didn't trust, you know, love before uh, or after what happened to them, whatever, you know, they, they needed that place of healing and tranquility and they have that heaven of peace with you. Oof, they miss a lot. Mm -mm -mm. Why are they doing not, you know, whatever. I mm -mm. <laughs> shush. <laughs> right. So they miss how easy it is to communicate with you. Yes, maybe sometimes it's a bit feisty. Fine, but that's part of the game. You know? What I mean is, yes, the communication is easy and flowing and sincere and natural, organic with you. It can be quite uh, charged, though, sexually charged, of course, but also you have your opinion. <laughs> How dare you? But that's good. And they have somebody to talk to at least. You know, you have opinions and you're just going to, you know, say it. Why not? You know, if you can't handle it, what can I say? <laughs> okay, listen, if you didn't get the memo, this is super clear. They miss you because you are as well uh, ticking all the boxes. You are perfection. You are something that gives them hope in life, in themselves, in a better tomorrow. They feel like you are calming sometimes, joyful at times, insane at other times. You are the everything. And they can feed from you. They also learn how to balance maybe their inner self. And maybe there's a part of anxiety in them that they don't dare showing to the rest of the world because they're not supposed to be like that. But with you, they can actually relax. And they can just say, yeah, I'm scared. Yes, I'm anxious. Yes, I don't know what I'm doing. Yes, whatever. They can actually say the truth to you. You help them balancing themselves. They miss a lot. I don't want to, you know, uh, but yeah. <laughs> and that's why they need to come towards you showing you the vulnerability. Because if they can't be vulnerable towards you, I mean, who are they going to be vulnerable with? They might be very lonely. It's okay to be comfortable and be alone, but being lonely, 
That is a different story. You can be surrounded by all family and being lonely if you know with the right person. So they have no choice but moving towards you and show you their vulnerability, which I think you already know. <laughs> but shh, it's a secret. Okay, fine. Part number two, what are they missing about you? Five of Swords, Seven of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Well, they have, it's an interesting thing here. They are inspired by you because, you know, even though you went through a lot of things in your life and that was not a walk in a park, you know, you kept an open heart. You know what I'm saying? You open the door to your heart to him or to her. You open it. And for them, that shows a lot of grace, a lot of courage, a lot of power. Because you could be bitter and harsh and hard because life has been difficult been challenging but you took a distance from all those events in your life and you grew very gracefully and that is for them an inspiration i think as well yes yeah, they have an, an an idea of feeling like yeah you are out of their league maybe because maybe because you're true you're truthful you're real you say what it is you're not afraid of saying yes i like you yes i want to know you and yes i leave you alone because you know I'm not going to bother anymore. I'll move on if I need to, you know. So there is an idea of them procrastinating, overthinking. They, they think of you as a beautiful dream and they're just like, yeah, gorgeous, you know. You're right there. Come on, wake up. Wake up, right? Yeah, there's a lot of vava vum as well. <laughs> there's a lot of chemistry. Nothing wrong with that. But what they miss about you is not just the sexuality that maybe you haven't done anything yet, but they can imagine. They're, they're very good at imagining. Oh, yeah, they're very good at all the way. Yeah? But also what they miss about you is your sense of enterprise. You know, you kind of, if you want something, you go and get it. You uh, reinvent yourself. You have to fire in a belly. Nothing can, you know, put you down for very long. Yes, you can be hurt, of course, you're a human being, but you know, you find that, that je ne sais quoi, um, and that fire again to, to fight and to start over and to rebuild yourself no matter what. And you reinvent yourself many, many times and they miss that by, you know, by you. Yes, I think there is an idea of battling a lot of pain. Yes, it has been... Um, a harsh wake-up call for them because they might have realized okay I'm at the end of you know the road whether they with someone else or they're being just lying to themselves and the, the suffering it's just like that gave them the clarity what they you know to know what they want and what they don't want they have the feeling maybe the worst uh, between you two is behind them and maybe now we can start something or maybe what they realize as well that you rebuild yourself you got hurt in that connection you got really really hurt you be, maybe didn't show as much but um you know you did and you decided you know what enough is enough i'm done it's not gonna go anywhere ever uh, you're never gonna give me what i want i don't need you in my life but i would like to have you and if you don't present yourself in a certain way then arrivederci right so they have, you know, you are an inspiration for them. So you show to them, you prove to them you can rebuild yourself from scratch. Even when you're down, you're going to go back up, right? Which they might not be able to do that. Right, you moving on, yeah. The thing is, um, and for them, it's also the idea of you transforming. You can leave the darkness and find serenity. You can move country. You can move places. You can move, change job. You can change your look. You can you transform all the time, and that's what they miss. You are inspiring them. That's what I feel on this uh, pal. You are an inspiration. When they say that, you know, oh, when I grow up, I'll be like her or like him, mm -hmm. because nobody is gonna put you down. Nobody's gonna shut you down, or you know. Uh, remove the light that you have you've been through a lot and that is not going to stop you ever and I think that's what they miss and also maybe they're not feeling that they're capable of doing what you do reinventing themselves like you did many times therefore you're moving away and you're moving on Arrivederci, eh? <laughs> on this note have a beautiful day and I'll see you tomorrow Mwah, ciao